Hey guys, DMV Solar Rider back with another video. If you've been watching my channel, you may have just seen me the other day. But for me, I haven't actually filmed a video in like a month. It's the first week of December. Uh, the last video I filmed was Moonshiner 28. I, uh, I got back home that first week in November, that weekend, and I was really busy with work, and then it was Thanksgiving, and I actually went away for Thanksgiving. I haven't, in the last couple weeks, I haven't even really had much of a chance to ride. Last weekend, I only got out for a few hours and, and kind of just did some parking lot practice, low speed maneuvering and all that. Uh, but today we are back up by Baltimore. We're going to do the second of those three reservoirs that I mentioned uh, in my last Baltimore Reservoir video. That one was the Lock Raven Reservoir. I, I actually don't know what the name of this reservoir is. When I found the map, the, the GPS file that I downloaded was just titled Falls Road and Pretty Boy Tour. So that's what we're going to call it in the thumbnail. <laughs> and we're just going to cruise around. It's about a 45 minute ride. Uh, all three of these reservoirs are really popular. So I'm expecting it to be nice. And I'm really curious. I don't know. You know, I think there's some twisties on this ride. I don't know how many. But having ridden Tail of the Dragon. And this is like the first really, you know, anything with twists and turns I've been on since I got back from my road trip. I'm curious to see if all that riding in North Carolina, Tennessee, South Carolina, if all those twists and turns make me more comfortable on any twist and turn up here. Because there's nothing around here that's like what I experienced on that road trip. Like every road on that road trip was twists and turns left and right, nonstop. So we'll see. But I'm just going to film. I'm sure as usual, I'll put some lovely YouTube music. You know, full winter mode is in effect. Uh, I woke up this morning, it was in the 30s. When I got on the road, it was only 39 degrees. I'm in my full winter gear. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too bad in this video. I got my visor cracked because it keeps getting some condensation inside. Got all the vents open. So when I wear my terrorist ski mask, it, it increases the temperature inside the helmet, which makes it tough. But when it's 40s out, you got to have a terrorist ski mask on under your helmet. It's just the rule. But yeah, man, I ride all year round. I don't have seasons. I don't take the winter off. I don't ride as as much in the winter. You know, usually one day a week, I'll take a like on a Saturday or Sunday, I'll take a long ride. And, you know, there are definitely days where I'll hit the road. It's in the low 30s. As long as it's dry out, it hasn't, we haven't just had precipitation where you might run into ice or whatever. I'll head out. Sometimes I call it an early day. It gets too damn cold, but not usually. This setup I've got is really, really comfortable. You know, there's no such thing as being warm on a motorcycle in the winter. But all this setup that I have, it's like it turns really cold weather into more like, it's like standing in a, a walk-in. If you've ever been into a walk-in in like a deli where they keep all the beer, it's cool. It's really cool. You know, you're not going to get hypothermia standing in there, but you feel it everywhere. And that's kind of like what I've got going on right now. Like this part of me is cool. I, I can feel that outside the jacket is cold. But I'm, I'm comfortable. It's manageable. Yeah, I wish these cars would get the heck out of the way. It looks like it'd be a fun little ride, but you know, it's only fun if you can actually attack it. Yeah, I mean, look at these curve markers. They're, they're, they got all the arrows for this little curve. Man, they should have had those everywhere in, in North Carolina. <laughs> I actually, uh, 
As I'm filming this, I haven't put any of the road trip videos up on the channel. I made uh, the day four video where I did Tale of the Dragon because I wanted to stitch together both of my rides on the dragon so I could actually watch them. And uh, so I just went ahead and made the whole video, the one that'll be up on the channel. And last this past week, I've been making the first two days on the Blue Ridge Parkway, which, you know, honestly, kind of boring. <laughs> Hopefully I'll find some good music for them. Uh, you know, it's just very repetitive. But when you film 10 hours a day, at least for me, I'm not, I'm not trashing the footage. I'm still going to do a video for each day. Feel free to skim through it. But anyways, uh, I haven't put any of them up yet. I don't even know what the hell I was about to say. Oh, I... Th okay, I remember what I was saying. So, Tale of the Dragon is really hard. I've watched the full ride both directions, and I went really slow. <laughs> like, it took me a long time to get through it each way compared to some videos I've seen on YouTube. And that's fine. It is what it is. Wasn't trying to break a record. Wasn't trying to prove what a badass I am. But I mean, even just riding around here, you know, twisties. These are nothing. So riding a road like the Dragon really is a huge boost to your confidence. Like I feel like I could ride around here in my sleep. I can already tell you it's a fun little road. If you can get up here and not have any cars in front of you, you'd love it. So, already highly recommended. Bike is a picture. Oh, I meant to tell you guys. So, uh, the last day of my road trip, I didn't film. I just jumped on 95 and headed home. It's like almost 500 miles. And I think I did it in like, I don't know, nine hours, 10 hours. It took a lot of, by, by like the second half of the day. I was stopping for 10, 15 minutes, like every hour, just to rest, relax my butt. This seat is a thousand times more comfortable than the Chieftains, but you know, after 10 hours on any motorcycle, your butt's going to hurt, and it did. And I, you know, I could kind of feel it in my legs. I was happy with the time that I made, heading all that way back home, but I definitely felt it. I don't know if I could have gone longer, to be honest. By the time I got home, I was pretty done. And that's almost a little disappointing. You know, when I do longer trips, I'd love to be able to get like six, 700 miles in in a day without being in horrible pain. And after 500 miles, I was in some pretty bad shape. Oh, look at that. You know it's a good road when Corvettes are riding down here. I guess this is the reservoir. Or a lake, I don't know. 
It's cool though. I love that there are these things up here that I never would have known about or discovered if not for the fact that I ride. crosswinds there just over 3,800 miles on the Challenger all the more every time I ride it guys as for you know the various issues I have with the bike things that I mentioned my first video I mean no new updates there my guess is I probably won't speak to my service shop again until I take it in for its next oil change and we'll see what they have to say then Indian hasn't come out with any ride command updates, which is really a shame because that's the thing that irritates me the most. Oh, as you can see, I took the big warning sticker off the Challenger's tank and on the crash bar down there. It took forever, but I got it. Then I washed it. <laughs> this thing was filthy after I got back from that road trip. Not much I can do about slow minivans. This guy's putting his brakes on. He's already going five miles under the speed limit. would be so great if this truck wasn't here. Look at that. Nice slalom. Well guys, this is the end of the ride. Uh, nice and twisty. Uh, unfortunately got stuck behind too many cars for my tastes. But that happens. But anyways, uh, as always, I will post the map and GPX coordinates uh, on my Google Drive page. You can find the link in the comments section below. It is great to be back filming, and our next ride will probably be that third reservoir, because I am doing some research to find some other new local rides. And by local, I mean, like, definitely the DMB. There are plenty. Just got to pick one and go. But anyways, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, I'd certainly appreciate it if you hit that like button. I put my ride, ride-related content out every Friday. So click the subscribe button, hit that notification bell. You'll be alerted every time my new videos are out. And until next week, I'm out. Stay safe.